What is going on guys? Grape here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And a few days ago we got an interview from Rob Nelson, which is one of the heads at Rockstar. He's kind of over Red Dead Online. And he kind of started detailing things that they're wanting to do with the game going into the future. Now the first thing he said was Red Dead Online was here to stay and that they are wanting to support this game for a long period of time. He also said they're wanting to do a better job of getting content out. They don't want it to take as long as it did like in GTA Online. He said they learned a lot from GTA Online and they felt that they took too long to put out content. Now it's kind of funny he says that because we have not had a lot of content this year. Of course Red Dead Redemption 2 is about to be out for a year now and we have not had a lot of content in Red Dead Online so hopefully that is going to change very soon. He also detailed some other things that they're looking to do within the game. He said they're looking at a multi-year expansion process so this sounds like they're in it for the long haul, kind of like GTA Online is, you know, four, five, six years in, and they're still going to be putting things out for Red Dead Online. And I think this will get the community back into the game, in my opinion, because he did say uh, how well the game has sold, even over the last few months. I mean, the, the month of May, the game sold a million more copies. So I think they're up to 25 million copies sold. The difference is a lot of people love the single player, but aren't really big fans of Red Dead Online. And a lot of that to do is, is with kind of griefing, in my opinion, and also lack of content. And he said they were looking to fix all of these things. They're looking at griefing. They're looking, of course, of adding more content and looking at things for people to be able to do to keep them interested in the game for long periods of time. Uh, he said they want to grow all the new roles uh, that are going to put out. And he didn't really say whether there'd be different roles or not, but he really didn't deny that there would be more roles coming later on after these roles are released. So they want to grow them over time. He said they also want to make the game more of an RPG kind of feel in the online mode. He said it's not going to happen overnight, but that's what their process is. They want it to be like an RPG style game, which really interests me a lot. I think that's a great idea for how the game works. He also talked about how different GTA Online is and how different Red Dead Online is. He said now while they could learn stuff from what they did right and wrong with GTA, uh, GTA Online, it's still a totally different game. So he said it has to be handled differently in certain ways, but in some ways they still have learned a lot. And one of those things, of course, like I said, it was content. So he discussed what the businesses were going to look like right now and then maybe later on. He said right now businesses are going to be small. But he said businesses are businesses, whether they're small or large. Right now you'll be running these businesses from your own personal camp. But he said later on down the road they are looking at larger business opportunities. He kind of took the collector as an example. He said, right now you might be selling from a small wagon from your camp as the collector, but later on you may be able to sell from a storefront in a big town. Also, he said, later on you may be able to run your own railroad company. These were just some ideas that he was throwing out there that he said they have been looking at to expanding things. The one thing that he did not mention that I was kind of disappointed in was he did not mention anything about housing. And once again, I've talked about this several, time, uh, several times in past videos. Housing was talked about right when Red Dead uh, Redemption 2 was first being released. They said when Red Dead Online came out, they were looking at doing things with housing. I know a lot of people out there are looking forward to that. I'm assuming it is coming at some point, but who knows when, because there's not been any mention of it since then. Um, also, he said they wanted to take a lot of ideas from single player and add them to the multiplayer. And I think this is a good idea because so many people enjoy the single player in Red Dead Redemption 2 that... If you can take a lot of the ideas and the thought process from that mode and add it to the online mode, I think it will make a lot, a lot of people more comfortable when going from single player to playing Red Dead Online. As long as they can manage a good bit of content year in and year out and not just kind of make it lulls in between. You know, we had this update back in the spring and now we're already into August and we have not had the role updates yet. I want them to be able to put out some larger updates throughout every year that they're going to keep the game going but also some smaller things kind of in, in the times between. So it doesn't get that lull where people kind of step away from the game and stop playing. I want people to be able to stay interested in the game, including myself, throughout you know each update and not feel like there's just nothing to do at certain times. Overall, I was kind of excited to read this. I'm glad that they're looking into continuing doing things with Red Dead Online. Leave me a comment, guys, and let me know your thoughts on this. What would you like to see? What would you like to see brought from the single player into the multiplayer? And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you guys next time.
Peace.